A lot more goes into theory making than you may believe. In fact, a lot goes into just video making. So today, I'm going to explain from start to finish how I create my videos. It's only a little bit hard. <laughs> Hello, I'm The Theorizer, and this is the computer I use to edit my videos. I use a MacBook Pro 2015 edition with a 5K screen, 16GB of memory, up to 4GHz of processing power, and 1TB of space. It's Apple's heaviest duty laptop, and it still can't handle Minecraft very well. Foolish. I use the program Final Cut Pro X to edit all of my videos. It's like iMovie in every way, but on extremely extreme steroids. It's one of the best video editors in the world, next to, of course, Adobe's Premiere Pro. Which I have, but I don't like using since I love Final Cut. I record my voice with a blue Nessie microphone. I get all of my music from royalty-free sites, the YouTube audio library, classic Nintendo DS game OSTs, and various other suspicious sites on the internet. All of the images used in the videos are found on Google Images, and no, I will not be doing a face, age, name, or address reveal. You all know I live in BC, but that's as far as I'll go. Now, that's not to say that in the future I won't reveal those things, but as of right now, the answer is no. Anyways, how do I go about making a video? First, I have to think of the topic to cover. I check out different movies, video games, TV shows, and I find the best topic to work on. Unlike most YouTube channels, I try to go for classic and nostalgic content rather than what's new and fresh, since God knows I'll be accused of becoming a sellout and becoming corporate is the last thing I want. Why do you think I respond to most of the comments? It keeps that lively interaction. After I have chosen the topic, I begin to either dissect its physics or its backstory. Usually I want to go the hidden backstory route, but physics is easier and more fun for me, although I'm not always pleased with the payoff. In lore-based videos, I will watch through an entire movie and scan and dissect every little bit I can, taking tons and tons of notes. This takes up to a few hours. I then just start writing a script, and in it, I just start by explaining the movie. My thoughts then flow out onto the page as I solve mysteries as I'm typing. This has happened with Nine, Coraline, Ratatouille, Inside Out, Up, and Toy Story, Inception, The Lorax, Horton Hears a Who, Monsters Inc., Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and almost every other lore video I have. I then keep writing the script, finish it, reread and refine it, finalize it, and then I have a finished script ready for me to speak over it. But that's my research when it's a lore-based video. When it's a physics video, I find a part of a movie or game that I want to analyze, and I pull out my calculator, measuring tape, protractor, timer, ruler, converter, pen, pencil, paper, eraser, whiteout, and writing support sub-paper papers also used for bonus sheets for extra note-taking. I then go nuts, delving into all areas of physics that I can with the topic. I write out all of my calculations, explain them all via the script, create a coherent video script, reread it, refine it, finalize it, and then I have it ready to be recorded. Now that I either have my lore-based video script or my physics video script ready to be read aloud, I pull out my mic and lay on my carpeted floor, surrounded by a bed, a door, a wall, and multiple objects placed just right to successfully rebound all of the sound into the 360 degree microphone. In fact, this is where I'm sitting now. It's kind of uncomfortable and <coughs> a little bit dusty. You'll see that right around my 100,000 subscriber special, my audio style kind of changed, and it was all because I upgraded from a large room and a desk to the crowded floor. I then read it all out. I constantly mess up my wording, so once I have saved all of my audio, I go into Final Cut and cut out all of the unnecessary stutters and crappy flip-flops. I export it as one large, seamless audio file, and then I create a new Final Cut project and drag in the voice. I put in my intro, my outro, and my social media usernames. I find only the best music from my library and plop them all out across the video. I create my background by placing whiteness, and then I apply a Visionet filter with a falloff set to full. And my font is a black Hegro Sans. I am now ready to edit the video. 
I spend hours grabbing from Google Images and filling my desktop to obscene amounts. Every few hours, I'll edit another two and a half minutes of the video until I finally finish. This is why I love shorter videos, because they're not only easier on my so-called beefy MacBook, but because it saves my time so I can start making more videos. I may have dissolved my upload schedule, but at any given time, because of this method, I'll be like two or three videos ahead. I finally finish editing the video. Then I rewatch the whole thing, export it at 1080p and 60fps, then I stick it in my theories folder. I then go into Photoshop to create the perfect thumbnail, I create the description where I credit all of the song composers, write disclaimers, and put brief summarizations. Side note, I know you guys hate it when I use the words irregardless and summarization, but I'm, <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. Now we're done. I set a date to upload it, and then on that date, I do so. I copy and paste the title, description, create appropriate tags for the video, place it in its respective playlists, make sure it's private, place a thumbnail on it, and then I click the save button. I let it upload and process, then I create the end screen, cards, and if it's over 10 minutes, I add as many advertisements as I feel necessary. Then I click publish, then I make sure the playlists are working, and finally, I receive all of the comments and <clears throat> criticism that I deserve, whether it be negative or positive, but I think I might like positive more. And that is my method. It takes a total of at least 5 to 20 hours to create a whole YouTube video, but I spread that across 2 to 6 days. So yeah, why don't you check out my gaming? Yes, I have been gaming recently on this bonus channel of mine. It's very bad though. Also, make sure to check out my secret series I've been working on. I am hoping that other theory channels will try to solve its mystery, but they haven't yet. Anyways, until next time, I'm The Theorizer.